What we're going to do here is extend the functionality of our bean into what's called the local interface. So far what we've been doing is putting a lot of functionality into our teller bean and providing the visibility to that functionality by using the remote interface for our bean. The clients, our JSPs, our servlets, our um, HTML pages have been using this teller bean by using the remote interface. If you know, as we have here, if you know for certain that your web interface, your uh, controller layer, is interacting with the EJBs locally, in other words, within the same JVM, if you know for certain in your design requirements that that is always going to be true, then we are not taking advantage of the local interface to its maximum affect, and we're missing out on a significant performance improvement. By always exclusively using the remote interface, we are are preventing any unnecessary RMI marshaling and unmarshaling of instances and calls and potentially increasing the performance footprint of our application. So let's quickly take all of this functionality using Eclipse and the tools that are built into Eclipse. Let's quickly take um, all of these methods and publish them or push them out to the local interface as well and then with one simple change demonstrate on the controller layer how we're using local instances of our bean instead of remote instances of our bean. So notice again that Teller Local has no functionality. This is the local interface. This is designated as our local interface. All of the interface declaration, in other words, all of the public um, behavior of this bean, the Teller bean, is only exposed through the remote interface. Very quickly, using the Eclipse tooling from the Teller bean code, I can highlight all of the events in the outline view, except for the constructor and the entity manager instance, I don't need that. But the publicly available um, behavior of this being that which I want to add to the interface, in other words, make visible to local um, clients as well as remote clients. From here, I can right click on all of these, use the refactor option, and use pull up. I from this wizard, my destination is not remote. I already have everything in the remote. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, what I want is local. Local is my destination. What action is it that I want to take? I'm going to click on Set Action, and I'm going to choose the action Declare Abstract in Destination. I click OK. I click Next. And it's going to preview or give me a chance to preview what it is. I don't need any changes made to the actual bean, so I'm going to unselect that. I do, however, want all of these changes, and you can investigate each one of them individually if you want to. But the tool is actually, the wizard's actually going to create the interface definitions for me in the local interface. Click Finish. Now I have some compile errors, which I'll quickly fix. Although these methods are promoted, the imports are not promoted. So the import of list and also bank account, these are not done in either the bean code or in the interface. So quickly um, organize imports inside of my bean. Oh, let's fix it in the interface first organize, because I've got return value problems. What am I doing here? Organize imports in the interface. Make sure that I'm importing list, java.util.list, versus all the other lists. And notice that an import is done for bank account as well. The compile errors are fixed in the bean as well, because my interface is not declaring certain return types that I don't have access to. So the implementation of my methods was just fine, but it collided with the declaration of my methods. So 
great, we've provided a local interface, but now I want to make sure that I'm using the local interface when my application is guaranteed to run in the same JVM as my um, interface EJB code. So from my servlets in my web application, both of which are acting in the controller layer to the EJB layer, I'm going to open first the search servlet and notice that um, I'm injecting an EJB reference into my servlet, but I'm using the remote interface. A quick change to change this to local Yes, I have to organize imports. Why? Because the import statement is for remote, not local. So I can change this manually, or I can watch the tool. It does it pretty well. It'll take out the reference to remote and put in the reference for local, and sure enough, it does. So we're using the local interface now, since we know that our controller layer is going to be operating the same JVM as our model layer, our EJBs. So I can use the same search form to test. My server needs to be published again, but that's okay. I'm going to take a chance and right click on search form and choose run as run on server. Everything should behave as it did before where I can interact with the queries, but now I'm doing it through the local interface. So I promoted my bean behavior to the local interface as well as the remote interface, which it was in all along, but now I'm forcibly taking advantage of performance benefits available to be able to choose the um, local interface in the instantiation of my servlet. So that should give us an idea of keeping in mind in the design of our application when we're working with EJBs. Yes, it's important to understand how remote interfaces work, especially if our application is going to be deployed in a separate JVM from the actual presentation layer or the controller layer. But where we're working within the same JVM, where our controller and our presentation layers are actually working in the same JVM as our model layer, we're missing a performance improvement by not taking advantage of the local interfaces. It's not always possible, but it's certainly doable and doable easily.